Many people are understandably concerned by headlines regarding red meat, processed meat and cancer, including those by the IARC. And so they swapped out red meat in their diets for chicken. It's been estimated that globally, every year, 52 billion chickens are slaughtered for meat. A figure that's set to double if consumption in India and China catches up with the West. However, is chicken really a healthy and safe alternative? Well, this study that followed 477,000 people for nearly 10 years found a 72% increased risk of pancreatic cancer for every 50 grams of chicken consumed daily. This study of men with early stage prostate cancer found those with more aggressive cancer who regularly ate chicken and turkey had up to four times the risk of prostate cancer progression. This study looking at colon cancer risk factors concluded the overall findings from this cohort identify both red meat intake and white meat intake as important dietary risk factors for colon cancer. And this study conducted at Harvard School of Public Health found that people who ate more than five servings of chicken without skin each week had a 52% increase in bladder cancer risk compared with those who ate none. The researchers hypothesized that nitrosamines, heterocyclic amines, or both may play a role. Now let's hear from Dr. Michael Greger as he shares more scientific research on chicken. We know from the largest forward-looking study on diet and cancer ever performed by humanity, the incidence of all cancers combined lower among vegetarians than meat-eaters, um, especially some of the fastest-growing tumors like lymphomas and uh, leukemias, and for that, the worst meat was actually poultry chicken, up to triple the rates for every 50 grams of poultry consumption. A quarter of a chicken breast, triple your risk. In 2019, this study that backs up the research Dr. Greger was discussing focused on 475,000 British residents who were tracked for a period of eight years from 2006 to 2014. And researchers found that, quote, Poultry intake was positively associated with risk for malignant melanoma, prostate cancer, and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more upcoming videos.